ever feel like uh, you're fighting a losing battle with like bugs and blight in your garden? Now imagine that garden is hundreds of acres. That's the reality for farmers all around the world. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of crop protection and how a company called Farminot is using some seriously cool tech to help, basically giving farmers a superpower, the ability to see problems in their fields before they even happen. It's like having a 204-7 eye in the sky, constantly monitoring for anything that might threaten a healthy harvest. Exactly. Look, we've got a stack of reports and articles here, and it's amazing to see the sheer variety of challenges farmers face. Did you know there's a disease called citrus greening that's wiping out citrus crops around the world? It's a devastating bacterial disease spread by a tiny insect, and it's a perfect example of why early detection is so crucial in crop protection. It's like catching a cold before it turns into pneumonia. Right. But instead of tissues and cough drops, we're talking about satellites and artificial intelligence. Precisely. Pharmanaut uses satellite imagery to spot subtle changes in plant health that are invisible to the naked eye. These changes could be caused by disease pests or even nutrient deficiencies. Okay, so let's unpack this a bit. Imagine you're a farmer looking out over a vast field. Everything seems fine, right? But up in space, a satellite is capturing images of your crops in wavelengths beyond what we can see. And Pharmanaut's AI is analyzing those images, looking for telltale signs of trouble. It's like having a team of microscopic detectives combing through your fields, looking for clues that a problem might be brewing. And what's amazing is that they can detect these issues at a very early stage, often before any visible symptoms appear. That's the game changer, because early detection means early intervention, and that can make all the difference between a successful harvest and a lost season. So what kind of problems are we talking about here? Let's start with the usual suspects plant diseases. We've got everything from powdery mildew, which sounds like something out of a fairy tale. Except it's a nightmare for gardeners and farmers alike. It coats plants in a white powdery substance that disrupts photosynthesis and weakens the plant. Right, it's like the plant is trying to breathe through a layer of dust. And then there are mosaic viruses, which sound like something an artist would create. But in the plant world, it's a sign of a serious infection that can stunt growth and reduce yields. Imagine trying to create a beautiful mosaic artwork but someone keeps disrupting the pattern with mismatched tiles. That's a great analogy. And it's not just these common diseases. Even specific crops have their own unique enemies to battle. Take olive trees, for instance. They have to contend with olive leaf spot, a fungal disease that causes dark lesions on the leaves and can significantly reduce olive production. And remember that citrus greening we talked about earlier. It's a major threat to the citrus industry. Hmm. And early detection is crucial to containing its spread. And that's where Pharmanaut's technology comes in. They can actually detect these diseases in their early stages by analyzing changes in leaf color and texture that are invisible to the naked eye. So it's not just about seeing the symptoms, it's about recognizing the subtle changes that precede those symptoms. It's like a doctor being able to diagnose a disease based on a patient's vital signs, even before they start feeling sick. Precisely. And just as a doctor can then prescribe the right treatment, Pharmanaut can help farmers take targeted action to prevent these diseases from spreading and causing widespread damage. So we covered the silent enemy plant diseases, but what about those pesky critters that can wreak havoc on crops? Ah, uh, yes, the tiny terrors of the insect world, aphid scale insects, weevils, the list goes on and on. It's like they're launching a full-scale invasion on our food supply. Yeah. And they're not exactly subtle about it, are they? Well, some are more stealthy than others. Aphids, for example, are tiny, but they can reproduce rapidly, and their feeding weakens the plant, making it more susceptible to diseases. It's like a one-two punch. And they can spread viruses too, right? Talk about adding insult to injury. Exactly. And then there are scale insects, which are masters of disguise. They look like little bumps on the plant, but under their hard shells, they're sucking away precious sap. I've seen those on my house plants. They're surprisingly hard to get rid of. That's because their hard shells make them difficult to control and they can cause significant damage if left unchecked. And remember those olive trees. They have another enemy, the olive fruit fly. I bet you can guess what this one targets. The fruit itself. Bingo. It lays its eggs inside the olives and the larvae feed on the fruit, causing it to rot. Not exactly what you want when you're hoping for a delicious olive harvest. Not to mention the impact on olive oil production. It's a reminder that these seemingly small pests can have big consequences for our food supply and the economy. Okay, so we've got these diseases and pests causing chaos in the fields. What's a farmer to do? 
Well, traditionally, farmers have relied on visual inspections of their fields, which can be time consuming and often miss early signs of trouble. Right. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Yeah. But Farmanaut is offering a much more efficient and effective solution. Their satellite based monitoring system acts like a digital scout, constantly scanning the fields for any signs of trouble. So instead of walking through acres of crops, farmers can now access detailed information about their fields from their computer or smartphone. And it's not just about spotting problems, it's about providing farmers with the information they need to make informed decisions. What kind of treatments to use, when to apply them, and how to optimize their resources for the best possible outcome. So Farmanite is like a personalized agricultural consultant, available 24-7, watching over those fields from space, and providing guidance every step of the way. That's a great way to put it. And this level of precision and insight is crucial, especially in a world facing increasing challenges from climate change. Right, because climate change is making crop protection even more difficult. We're seeing changes in weather patterns, more extreme events like droughts and floods, all of which can stress plants and make them more vulnerable to diseases and pests. Exactly. It's like playing a game of chess where the rules are constantly changing. But Farmanaut's technology gives farmers the ability to adapt to these changes, to stay ahead of the curve and protect their crops, even in the face of unpredictable conditions. So it's not just about technology. It's about resilience, adaptability, and ensuring a secure and sustainable food supply for a growing population. Now, that's something we can all get behind, right? You know, it's fascinating how Farmanaut's technology is not just about seeing problems. It's about understanding the specific nature of the threat and its potential impact. It's like going from a blurry snapshot yeah. to a high definition 3D model, right? Exactly. And this level of detail is crucial for making informed decisions about treatment. Okay, so let's dive into some examples. We've talked about powdery mildew. How does Farmanaut actually help farmers combat this fuzzy foe? Well, remember that distinctive white powdery coating we talked about? Farmanaut's system can actually detect those changes in leaf coloration and texture from satellite images, even before the human eye can see it. It's like having a microscopic eye in space, scanning for those telltale signs. Wow. So it's like having an early warning system for powdery mildew outbreaks. Precisely. And because the system monitors the fields regularly, it can detect powdery mildew in its early stages before it becomes widespread and really takes hold. That's got to be a huge relief for farmers who are constantly on the lookout for this persistent problem. Absolutely. It gives them a chance to intervene with targeted treatments, preventing significant crop loss and protecting their livelihoods. And the same principle applies to other diseases as well. Right. Absolutely. Take leaf spot diseases, for instance. These nasty fungi cause discolored spots on leaves, which can eventually lead to defoliation if they're not dealt with. Defoliation, that sounds serious. It's like the plant is losing its clothes. In a way, yes. And without leaves, a plant can't photosynthesize properly, which ultimately impacts its growth and yield. It's like trying to bake a cake without flour. So not good. But Farmanaut can help prevent this culinary catastrophe in the fields. Exactly. Farmanaut's system can detect those early signs of leaf discoloration, alerting farmers to potential leaf spot issues before they become a major problem. It's like having a plant doctor on call, constantly monitoring their patient's vital signs. I like that analogy. And just like a doctor would prescribe a specific treatment based on the diagnosis, Farmanaut helps farmers tailor their approach to the particular threat they're facing. So it's not just about identifying a problem. It's about understanding the specific threat and its potential impact so you can choose the right course of action. Precisely. And that brings us to those tiny terrors we discussed earlier, pests. Right. The insect world's answer to a mob boss wreaking havoc on unsuspecting crops. Let's start with aphids. How does Pharmanaut deal with those tiny vampires? Well, aphids are tricky because they can cause damage in a couple of ways. First, they suck sap from the plants, weakening them. Second, they can transmit viruses, spreading disease as they feed. So it's a double whammy. They drain the plant's energy and then infect it with a virus. Mm -hmm. Talk about adding insult to injury. Exactly. Now, while Pharmanaut can't see the aphids themselves from space, they are tiny after all. It can detect the damage they cause. Remember how aphids can cause leaves to curl or distort? Right. It's like the plant is trying to protect itself, curling up in a defensive posture. Exactly. And Pharmanaut system can pick up on those subtle changes in leaf shape and structure, signaling a potential aphid infestation. It's like noticing tiny wrinkles on a leaf surface, indicating stress caused by aphids. That's incredible. So even though the pests are tiny, the damage they inflict creates a visible signature that Pharmanaut can detect. 
It's like a detective analyzing fingerprints at a crime scene. Precisely. And this early detection allows farmers to implement control measures like introducing natural predators to the fields or using targeted insecticides before the aphid population explodes and causes widespread damage. It's like a strategic intervention preventing a full-blown insect takeover. Exactly. And this proactive approach is much more effective and sustainable than waiting until the problem is so severe that you have to resort to drastic measures. And what about scale insects? those armored tanks we talked about earlier. They seem like they'd be tough to detect. They are a bit more challenging because they're often hidden under their protective shells blending in with the plant itself. But even they leave traces that Pharmanaut can detect. Really, what kind of traces do these tiny tanks leave behind? Well, as scale insects feed on plant sap, they excrete a sticky substance called honeydew. This honeydew can coat the leaves and attract sooty mold, which can further damage the plant by blocking sunlight and inhibiting photosynthesis. So it's like a domino effect of damage. Yeah. One problem leads to another, creating a cascade of negative consequences. Precisely. And Pharmanaut's system can detect the changes in leaf coloration and reflectance caused by both the honeydew and the sooty mold, alerting farmers to the presence of these stealthy sap suckers. It's amazing how Pharmanaut is able to connect these seemingly small details to a much larger problem, like a detective piecing together clues to solve a mystery. It's all about pattern recognition and data analysis. The system is trained to recognize the subtle signs of different crop issues, even when they might not be visible to the human eye. So it's like having a team of expert botanists and entomologists constantly monitoring your fields, analyzing every leaf and stem for signs of trouble. And this ability to identify specific problems is crucial for implementing effective treatments. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Right, because different pests and diseases require different solutions. It's like going to the doctor and getting a personalized treatment plan based on your specific symptoms. Exactly. Let's say Pharmanaut detects signs of nitrogen deficiency in a particular area of a field. The farmer can then apply nitrogen fertilizer to that specific area rather than treating the entire field unnecessarily. It's all about precision and efficiency. That's not just good for the crops. It's good for the environment and the farmer's bottom line. Precisely. And this level of precision is what sets Pharmanon apart. It's not just about seeing problems, it's about understanding them and providing actionable insights that empower farmers to make the best decisions for their crops and their businesses. So Pharmanon is like a personalized agricultural consultant available 24-7 watching over those fields from space and providing guidance every step of the way. That's a great way to put it. It's like having a team of experts constantly analyzing your crops and providing tailored advice to help you achieve the best possible outcome. It's incredible to think how far agricultural technology has come. And as we move forward, it's clear that data and technology will play an even greater role in shaping the future of food production. Absolutely. And it's exciting to consider the possibilities. With advancements in areas like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and sensor technology, we can expect even more sophisticated tools and insights to emerge. It's like we're on the cusp of a new era of agriculture where technology empowers us to grow more food more sustainably and with greater precision than ever before. And this transformation is not just happening in the fields, it's happening in research labs, universities, and tech startups all over the world. It's a global effort driven by the need to feed a growing population while protecting our planet. And Pharmanaut is right there at the forefront, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and inspiring a new generation of farmers and agricultural innovators. So we've explored the problems facing crops the power of Pharmanaut's technology, and the exciting possibilities for the future. But there's one more piece of the puzzle we need to examine. The human element. Ah, uh, yes. Technology is a powerful tool, but it's ultimately the farmers who make the decisions and implement the strategies. So how does Pharmanaut bridge the gap between technology and the human experience of farming? Well, one of the things that makes Pharmanaut so effective is its user-friendly interface. It's like Pharmanaut is opening up a whole new perspective on our planet, one that allows us to see the interconnectedness of everything. It is a bit like that famous Earthrise photo taken from the moon. Yeah. You suddenly see our planet as this fragile oasis in the vastness of space, and it changes your perspective. And when you can see things from that perspective, you start to understand that actions in one area can have ripple effects across the globe. Precisely. Take deforestation, for instance. Clearing forests in one part of the world can contribute to climate change, which then impacts weather patterns, water availability, and ultimately crop yields in other parts of the world. It's a domino effect. 
and it highlights the importance of thinking beyond borders when it comes to sustainability. Exactly. It's not just about individual countries or regions. It's about global collaboration and shared responsibility for the health of our planet. So PharmaNut's technology is not just about helping farmers grow more food. It's about contributing to a more resilient and sustainable food system as a whole, one that can withstand the challenges of a changing world. And that resilience is becoming increasingly important in the case of climate change and other global pressures. We're seeing more extreme weather events, shifts in growing seasons, yeah. the emergence of new pests and diseases, and growing demand for food as the global population continues to rise. These challenges are complex and interconnected, and they require innovative solutions and adaptive strategies. It's not enough to just do things the way they've always been done. We need to think differently, and we need the tools to support those new ways of thinking. And that's where technology like PharmaNauts comes in. It's not just about data. It's about turning that data into actionable insights, empowering farmers to make informed decisions, adapt to changing conditions, and develop more resilient farming practices. It's like giving farmers a toolkit for navigating the uncertainties of a changing world, a toolkit filled with real-time information predictive models and data-driven recommendations that can help them anticipate challenges, optimize their resources, and make the most of every growing season. And the best part is this toolkit is constantly evolving. Pharmanite is committed to staying at the forefront of agricultural technology, investing in research and development, and collaborating with partners around the world to bring new features and capabilities to their platform. They're constantly learning, refining their models, and incorporating feedback from farmers to make their technology even more effective and user-friendly. It's that spirit of innovation and collaboration that gives me hope for the future of food. It's not just about technology. It's about people coming together, sharing knowledge, and working towards a common goal. It's about scientists, engineers, farmers, and policymakers all playing their part in creating a more sustainable and equitable food system for everyone. And that's a powerful force for change. So as we wrap up this deep dive into the world of PharmaNot and the future of crop protection, I want to leave our listeners with a sense of optimism. We face significant challenges, it's true, but we also have the tools, the ingenuity, and the collective will to overcome them. We have the ability to harness the power of technology, to foster collaboration across borders, and to prioritize sustainability in everything we do. And by doing so, we can create a future where everyone has access to safe, nutritious and sustainably produced food. A future where technology empowers farmers to thrive, where innovation drives progress, and where collaboration leads to a healthier planet for all. That's a future worth striving for. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the fascinating world of PharmaNot and the future of crop protection. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep those minds curious.